Hey everyone, Buzz Berline with Team New Canoe and Kingfisher Kayak Adventures. I'm back in the tackle room after a successful kayak fishing tournament in Central Florida. And today I thought it would be helpful to share with you a little bit about the success I had with some of the soft plastics. These are three different types that I think you should have in your bag at all times if you're fishing in this area. So please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and get notified so we can keep doing these videos for you in the future. And stay tuned. So I had some success at the Florida Bass Nations Kayak Series Open Tournament. It was a qualifier for the national championship in Tennessee this year, and I finished in fifth place and was fortunate enough to get an invite to go to the championship in, in March. Throughout the day, I used a lot of different types of baits and tried different things, but what was very successful, which is what is often very successful in Central Florida, are soft plastics. So today I want to share, you, share with you three different types that I used that I found to be very effective on lakes like Lake Panasofki and the Central Florida and North Central Florida lakes. So the first is the Senko. There's different types of Senkos. I use a lot of times the Bitters brand Senkos. This is a, a five inch Senko and then there's a seven inch uh, Bitters Senko. And you can use these in many different ways. There's a lot of videos out there all about different types of Senkos and how to rig them, Wacky Rig and Texas Rig and otherwise. But the ones that worked well at, at Lake Panasofki for me were the black and blue, some with the little white flakes, some not. I used both Wacky Rigs as well as Texas Rig with different uh, size weights depending upon how deep or shallow the water was. One of the interesting things was on that I did differently, maybe than other people there, is late in the day on highly pressured areas, I put a 16th ounce worm weight on this with a 4 ot Gamagatsu hook, uh, just a, a standard offset uh, worm hook, and really whipped it through the grass. Uh, so it looked more like a jerk bait than probably other people who might have been fishing a lot slower. So that was very successful. The Bitters brands I like. Zoom has, uh, you know, different brands out there. There's, everyone pretty much has their own brand of Cinco. So uh, I highly recommend if you're in Central Florida, definitely trying the Cinco out, either Wacky Rigged, Texas Rigged. Uh, you can use them in other styles of fishing too. So the second type that I think you should have in your bag at all times if you're fishing in Florida are speed worms. The classic speed worm is made by Zoom. I use the Magnum speed worm in June bug very often. It's one of those that just basically never comes off my wall um, because I constantly are resupplying with the Zoom June bug speed worms. And also during the tournament, I used for the first time the seven inch speed Senko by Yamamoto. I used this in plum apple and I did get some interesting bites on this because what's interesting and effective about the Yamamoto's is they have that same softness that that brand has always had and they're just fish catching machines. But at the base of this, when it's stuck together, it's more like a paddle tail or you can rip it apart and have it be more like a speed worm. So you have some versatility with the type of, uh, of worm that you can use and depending upon what the fish want that day, um, you have some more options. It is a little bit more fragile than the, than the Zoom Magnum speed worm. So you might not get as many fish on one bait, but um, you know, it was for the tournament. So I saved up a, a little bit of money for the Yamamoto and really used those, especially when I wanted to be very accurate uh, under a dock or around cover. Uh, where I thought the fish had seen a lot of uh, June bug uh, speed worms. So the speed worms and the Senkos are pretty common. You should have those in your bag all the time. And then another bait, especially for the thick cover in Florida, 
is the beaver style baits. And the missile baits, uh, D-Bomb is definitely one that is incredibly popular and mostly because it's so effective you know, in, this, in this area. And they have very unique ridges on here that make uh, the vibration through the water. So if you're punching big mats or if you're flipping around wood cover, um, you're not, they don't have a lot to catch on. There's not a lot of appendages to catch on. But in the case at, uh, you can see the difference here. Here's a Reactions Innovations. This is a, called a Kinky Beaver. It is slightly different. Now, it's different because it has these long appendages. And depending upon what the bass want that day, these appendages can really slow the bait fall down. And uh, the bass really loved it. My largest fish of the day was caught with the reactions innovations kinky beaver uh, this particular color is magic cross swirl but i've used other black and blue colors or green green pumpkin type colors so those are the three you need a beaver style bait you need a senko and you need a speed worm if you're going to fish in central florida they can be used almost year round they're very popular, usually easy to find among different brands, and I highly recommend all three. So I hope these three baits help you when you go out and you get out on the water and you want to fish them. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask a question or send a note, and uh, I'll be happy to try to answer you as quickly as possible. And I hope this brings you some value for your next fishing uh, adventure here in North Central or Central Florida. So thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you on the water.